In this lecture, I'm going to explain what Facebook is, what a Facebook group is, why using Facebook groups to sell items is better than websites like Craigslist or eBay, and finally, what type of selling groups on Facebook are out there. Facebook is an online social networking service founded by Mark Zuckerberg. When you register to use the site, you create a profile, add people as friends, post pictures and videos, and receive notifications when others update their profiles. Facebook has over 1.3 billion active users as of June 2014. While you, not might, you, while you might not be able to sell to everyone on Facebook, you will find groups where you can freely advertise your items to tens of thousands of potential buyers. Once you are on Facebook, you can start joining groups of various sizes and topics. Facebook groups makes it easy to connect and even meet with specific sets of people, like join thousands, if not tens of thousands of people together to sell their items locally. Why use Facebook groups instead of Craigslist or eBay? For one thing, you have to pay eBay to sell your items and they also take a cut of your profits when you sell the item. With eBay, you have to use PayPal and only PayPal. With eBay, you usually ship the item you are selling and then you have to deal with the customer if something goes wrong. You can sell locally and for free on Craigslist and it's a cash-only transaction. However, there are so many shady characters who try to swindle you that it's not worth your time or your safety. Facebook groups are easy to find, easy to post to, are usually in local metropolitan areas, and people immediately see your ads when you put them up in the group. Posting to Facebook groups are always free, and it's always a cash transaction. When people initially communicate with you, it's public to the group, Therefore, you have their full name and usually a picture of what they look like. If you dig deeper and click on the buyer's Facebook name, their Facebook page usually also tells you if they live nearby. Personally, this gives me peace of mind for selling my items, unlike Craigslist, where you don't know merely the person's full name or even where they might live. There are various and numerous Facebook groups for selling items. Facebook selling groups are first grouped by location. For example, when I lived in the metropolitan Memphis area, there are Facebook groups for Memphis, East Memphis, Cordova, and neighboring towns like Germantown and Collierville. Once you have found Facebook selling groups in your locality, Facebook selling groups can be particular about what you want to sell. Some Facebook selling groups are very general in what you can sell. For example, the Collierville Resell Group, you could sell anything that wasn't harmful or legal. Other local Facebook groups sold just baby clothes and toys, or just furniture, or just big and tall clothing, etc. There are also Facebook groups that are called in search of, or ISO, where the person asks if anyone is selling a particular item, and people can reply with what they have, a picture, and a price they are willing to sell it for. There are also Facebook groups that are called in search of, or ISO, a free cycle, recycle, or free page where you give away your items and people tell you if they want the items or not. 